Hello, hello, Cancers. Welcome back to Queen Cancer Tarot Channel. I am the host. My name is Catherine. You can call me Queen. I'm here to bring you all clarity, guidance, and love messages. I have timeless readings for all of our lovely Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is a general love reading, so please take this energy, how it resonates with your energy, and the energy around the person closest to you. This is also a timeless love reading. So at any point, this message could resonate with your energy, whether it be something that happened six months ago, six months from now, or it's currently taking place right now for you, Cancer. All right, so we are going to hone in the energy for Cancers and Fire Signs. All right. I believe that is where we are right now. Or no, no, no. We're on the earth signs, you guys. We've done the fire signs. We are on the earth signs now. Okay, so we are looking at Taurus energy. All right, so for Tauruses, we are getting ready to get... And look at that. Look at that beautifulness underneath that deck there. You see that Taurus energy there, that Hierophant shining through. Mm, very beautiful, you guys. And I would take that except for I just was, something told me to grab this deck for Taurus tonight as the main deck to use. And very confirming with that hierophant <laughs> sitting on there looking at us like, hello, are you talking to me? <laughs> that is your energy, Taurus. All right, so Cancers, make sure if you are new to the channel, welcome you all and thank you so much for joining us us and being with the collective tonight um, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and i welcome all of you all to click that subscribe button there is a watermark in the bottom right hand corner of your screen you can click that your energy will flow freely through this message that I am bringing and all the messages that I bring on this channel. I also do a giveaway every month. So on the first of the month, check out the community page to see if your name is posted as a winner. And I will send you a selection of gifts to choose from if you are a winner. And um, also make sure you are clicking the notification bell so you can be notified when the readings are posting on the channel. And I am going to be going live. I, my life has been crazy this year, but that's okay. Um, and at some point I am going to be going live. It is going to be a blessing um, when I do that for myself as well as um, those of you in the collective who decide to participate. So please don't miss the live. I'm going to be doing one question readings for $20 via Cash App. There will be some chances to win some free readings during that live. So please, you guys, if you are available, um, turn your notifications on. And when I do go live, jump in, you guys. You never know what you may end up getting all right so let's move on to cancers and taurus now okay we're going to be focusing on your energy past present and future cancers you dealing with a taurus right now all right holy spirit angels and guides what clarity what guidance what love messages do you have for cancers who are dealing with a taurus please Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity? What guidance? What love messages do you have for Cancers dealing with a Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay. All right, Cancer. So we have the Two of Cups. Very beautiful energy. We saw that Hierophant. That is that marriage card here. And here we are with the beautiful two of cups. And that is in your current energy. You and your person are in a soul, strong soul connection. Um, you and this person are on 
equal footing. However, um, there is someone who is more emotional and someone who appears to be more grounded in this relationship, but you both, um, you know, have equal things to share with one another. Okay. Um, and there is this Leo energy that is between you. So there's a lot of, um, stability and a lot of, um, compassion that you and this person have for one another. Okay. Underneath the deck in the past energy here, you have the queen of cups. There's your energy. Very beautiful. And uh, this is that energy of someone who is um, emotional, someone who is very loving, um, full of love, has a lot of love to give, um, someone who is very abundant in the love that they have to offer. A lot of people count on them for that reason. They are a good person to uh, talk to. They listen very well. They're very intuitive. Um, so they can listen with their inner ear or, you know, yes, with their inner ear cancer, um, as well, their spiritual ear, and they're very warm and kind people. So I feel like this energy, um, being very warm, very kind, very compassionate and how things are between you and this person, this is a very strong soul tie commitment that you have. And you both um, share it a lot. And um, you both get a lot out of this bond that you have together. Um, we have the Queen of Wands here. In this future energy here. And this is a very confident energy here. This can also represent a third party energy as well. Um, so we do want to take a closer look to see what may be happening here. Um, with both of these queens here, you know, this is striking because these are very, these are two almost like opposite ends of the scale. I want to say when it comes to queens, because the queen of cups is one who is, I mean, a very loving, very warm person. Um, but this person, but they're not as, they're more kind and sweet. Um, the queen of wands is a very outspoken, while the queen of cups, I feel like is more quiet, you know, that intuitive nature of the Queen of Cups comes out and that is a very quiet energy. This Queen of Wands definitely loud wants to be in the center of attention, very outgoing. The Queen of Cups I feel like is more introverted um, and people come to her. The Queen of Wands and I say her that's just the energy here. Um, the Queen of Wands is more extroverted, while the Queen of Cups is very introverted. Um, so it could be that the two of you in this connection um, are now starting to do more outside of just you and this person. I mean, and I don't mean with other people or third parties, but it could potentially be that. So we're going to clarify what this Queen of Wands energy is saying here and what any of that means, Cancer. Um, let's go ahead and look underneath the deck here. So we have the Two of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, And the Ace of Cups, therefore, we have nine cups on the board here. And that can represent um, someone with a lot of emotions about something, Cancer, and this person feels like they need something in order to be satisfied. Um, or to get that success, they just have to do this one last thing, or they just need to get this one recognition 
in order to feel like they have everything that they need. So this person feels like there's something that they're looking for here. With the Two of Swords and the King of Pentacles, I feel like this person, the King of Pentacles is an energy of someone who is committed already. Um, it's that father figure patriarch role, someone who, um, you know, definitely is prosperous, but they're on their throne cancer. So it's telling me this is someone who's married and a male energy. Um, with the two of swords here, and it's masculine energy, not male, masculine energy here with the king of pentacles i apologize um but this two of swords cancer represents someone needing to make a decision and needing to they they're things are really one-sided um, with this person's emotions at this point, with this moon being on one side of the swords instead of in the middle. I feel like this person has made their decision. Their emotions are on one end um, and they are appearing as though they're wanting to cut the emotions out. Um, and, you know, this could be someone who's making a decision about... Or someone who has to choose between cancer and with the king of pentacles representing fathers, um, someone may have to decide between having kids and, you know, not having children, um, settling down or being single. Um, in this particular case you have the eight of cups and the ace of cups this is someone offering a lot of love and someone emotionally overwhelmed with all the love that's being offered clearly emotionally overwhelmed with all the love that is being given um so that's an interesting situation. Let's look at the final outcome. If nothing else changes, there's the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, Cancer. So you've got a true pair here on the board. You have that Page of Wands. So um, that King of Cups is wanting to do something. Things are very one-sided here, Cancer. Things are one-sided. So either whatever it is that this King of Cups is doing, either they're the only ones doing it, um, with the King of Cups can also represent someone being um, at a distance. Um, and this person could be wanting to do something. But right now, it's like this person is stuck, you know, in one location and not able to do quite what they want to do. And the Page of Wands is an extroverted energy. And the Queen of Wands is an extroverted energy. So I feel like this, in this case, Cancer, what you have is a situation with this person who is, their way they want to do something things are one-sided this person is giving a lot as far as money and time is concerned they're wanting to be extroverted um so that you know they want to be free um from this cancer they want to be free from this one-sided situation that they're in um, with the eight of cups, this person is definitely walking away and is emotionally overwhelmed by all the love that's being offered. And it could be that this king of pentacles is offering all this love to this third party cancer and you are becoming emotionally overwhelmed and you are having a hard time with this cancer. Um, you're used to things being really one-sided, used to getting, things are having this king of cups all to yourself and now that the king of cups is going you know offering all this love in a different direction don't know the situations here but with this fatherhood role this person could be 
um, finding out that they, you know, are going to be a father or um, maybe this person has a child or something um, in an outside relationship, Cancer, and, you know, you're walking away from this because you're not able to deal with all of these emotions, Cancer, um, not coming your direction. Or the fact that this King of Pentacles is offering all of these emotions in a different direction and it's not going towards you. Which that could very well be the issue, Cancer. Let's go ahead and clarify this energy here. Let's start with the Queen of Cups here. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance... What love messages do you have for Cancers? Tell us about the Queen of Cups. Okay, Cancers. Dealing with a Taurus. And we have the Knight of Swords. So this is someone who is rushing in, coming to rush in to um, make a situation... Um, better they want the situation to be the way they want it to be they're being very direct they're assertive they're telling people what they want them to do and they're expecting it to get done okay um and the queen of cups like i said represents an uh, energy of someone being very nurturing or emotional or supportive even like acting as a counselor um, and I feel like someone is coming in and letting you know, cancer, in this case, what it is that you need to be doing. Um, someone is coming in being very assertive, um, very direct. Um, let's see, uh, let's look underneath the deck here. You have the death card here. So... This represents something changing or someone who is letting go or something is is ending, Cancer. Something is ending. Hmm. Something is ending, Cancer. Ace of Cups, Cancer. And the Queen of Wands, Cancer. There you go. So, Cancer. So, the Queen of Wands... This is someone who is very social, someone who wants to be very social out, you know, with friends, chatting up with meeting new people, just a social butterfly, very optimistic about everything that's going on and very confident energy. And the Queen of Cups is a little different. It's intuitive and very quiet, introverted. Um, and here with the death card here, the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands, that is what this means. So someone is going to be ending a situation or walking away from something and focusing all of their energy towards this new love that's coming through. Um and the Ace of Cups, you know, this can represent something going to the next step. Um, it doesn't always mean love, but it can represent something that's new coming in that you haven't had or some sort of new um, feeling, Cancer. And the new feeling here is this confidence. It's the confidence that is coming. So if you are, all of y'all who are out there dealing with Tauruses, um, 
I'm going to be the first one to let you know. Don't walk away from this because you're going to be walking away from a lot of love. Don't get emotionally overwhelmed when you feel like this person is up to something. They're not. They're just making a very important decision. They are cutting this third party out. This emotional, whatever it was, not an issue. Not an issue. But they do need you to be patient. So let's see. Tell us about the Two of Cups, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And we got two cards. <laughs> we have the world. And we have the six of pentacles. What did I tell you? Something is going to be changing. Things were very one-sided at one point, Cancer. Um, but things are going to be changing drastically. Um, <clears throat> here. With this connection. Um, so like things are back and forth and equal give and take now, but pretty soon it, things are going to be really one sided and underneath the deck. Look at the lovers, look at the lovers cancer and look at the sun cancer and the knight of wands. So listen, 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 Linda. So the reason why there's things changing is that there is a situation with a third party that is being walked away from cancer with this world card. It is being walked away from um, the lover's energy with that devil energy that is, you know, got that woman's eye wandering. That's taking place as we speak. Um because that's what that energy is. The sun is a very optimistic energy. Very happy. Very optimistic. Um, yeah. There is some sort of truth, Cancer, that is going to be coming in here. And I feel like something happened, Cancer, where one... Of the two of you did something and they acted on their own when they did this and there is going to be a truth coming in cancer and like I said things are going to be very one-sided and there's going to be a cycle that is closing out and with the Queen of Wands I see that I see that Queen of Wands sitting there looking at me like that third party energy here and I'm just trying to get past it all the, and looking underneath the deck. You have the Hierophant. That's what you can't see behind the scenes. And that's what we saw underneath the deck and when, when I first picked this deck up, Cancer. So we're going to keep that in mind here um, with that Hierophant energy. But tell us about the Queen of Wands, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. And we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. If it ain't real, it ain't. Now, listen. Okay, now you listen, Linda. <laughs> we have the Queen of Cups here in the upright. The Queen of Cups in the reverse is a very <sighs> upset Queen of Cups. <laughs> That's all I can say. Queen of Cups in the reverse is someone who is... I don't want to say jealous, but this person is like clingy. They're very sensitive towards everything that gets said, gets their feelings hurt a lot. They're overly sensitive, actually. Um, you know, there's this victim mentality about everything, feeling as though they're always the one that's giving or actually always being the one that is giving. Um, and they get taken advantage of quite a bit and this queen of wands is all about being confident it's all about getting out of that queen of cups energy and I feel like that was what was happening in the past and that person was able to graduate to that two of cups situation we have temperance see you have patience and you have the three of wands. Somebody's ready to move forward. And you have the nine of wands. Somebody is working hard. It's 
somebody's working hard on self wanting to make themselves better so that they can have something to stand up towards or with or next to so very hardworking, um dedicated energy here coming towards you so that's just a gorgeous situation um i want to go ahead and pull some oracle here around these cards here um just to get a little bit more clarity i'm very curious tell us about the two of swords like i said this is appearing as though someone has already cut out this person they're just needing to let go of this emotion anything lingering tell us about the two yeah see the seven of wands here this person is playing defense right now they don't want to feel anything for anybody in the past they want to let it go they're making their decisions empress underneath the deck this person has everything they could possibly need they are defending um standing their ground um here and cutting out this third party energy here for cancer tell us about ooh, king of pentacles and you have the five of cups so there's some sort of sadness that's coming in around this king of pentacles energy um so it could be a child um with the six of swords underneath the deck that's somebody who is walking away eight of swords this is something you cannot see they're not going to let you see it um, but with the king of swords this person when they do do it it's going to be like quick and over with do you understand it's not going to be any lingering tell us about the eight of cups please this is somebody just clean walking away and we have the queen of pentacles here now we've got three queens on the board you guys and that just makes me nervous all the way around and you saw the empress pop her head out but that eight of pentacles to the eight of cups i mean you got all those eights you talking about the number eight represents like when you're looking at the tarot you're talking about things that are constantly moving you think of a figure eight in the shape of a figure eight um it's like a it's almost like it forces you to continue doing it when you're doing a figure eight with your finger. When you do like a box, it's it's a little bit more dramatic because it's like a exerted effort. But with the figure eight, it's almost like you can lift your hand up and down and kind of not do any work at all, you know, but things are constantly moving is what the whole idea is and in order to make an eight you have to continue whistly move until that entire number is formed so there's that um a lot of explanation but it made a lot of sense um but again the queen of pentacles and you have that eight of cups here um very beautiful energy here so um hmm and now the Queen of Pentacles is very generous and very comforting as well. Um, underneath the deck, you have the Tower. Something's going to be ending. Tell us about the Ace of Cups, please. Tell us about the Ace. And we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse this time. What is up with the Queen being in the upright and then in the reverse? I have the King of Cups, but then I also have the King of Pentacles in the upright. And then here he is in the reverse. That energy, that is an energy of someone who is very greedy, someone who is possessive just not a good situation hmm yeah that's that sucks cancer seven of pentacles underneath the deck someone is being the patience that you asked for holy spirit angels and guides what clarity what guidance 
What love messages do you have for Cancers dealing with the Taurus? Okay, so we have two. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity? What guidance? And that's funny. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles to the upright to the King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Qu King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And here also you have the Eight of Swords. Again, something that you can't see happening that is happening justice is going to be prevailing and the high priestess this is something that we can't see but it's literally happening very very beautiful energy i'm going to go ahead and pull some oracle rather quickly um before we take things um to see what the challenges and the outcome are going to be and then we'll go into the extended so we'll just quickly pull some oracle you guys Holy Spirit, okay, that wanted to fall, so I'm letting it underneath the deck here. So we have guilt and deeply, Cancer. Guilt and deeply. Don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness and guilt and deeply. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationship. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at the challenges really quickly. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for cancers dealing with a Taurus, please? Tell us about the challenges for cancers dealing with a Taurus, please. So you have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. The lovers and five of swords. Okay, something had to end, Cancer, and I believe the relationship with this person is going to have to end because of all of the guilt so apparently this person did something in the past and they're needing this person to forgive them thus the that queen of cups energy and i have guilt over here as well interesting because you've got the queen of wands the queen of wands the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. So with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, somebody hasn't done what they were supposed to do. Now they're rushing around trying to fix things and get everything right. You have behind the scenes, behind the scenes, you have the Emperor and the Page of Swords and the Four of Cups and the Six of Wands. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, what clarity? So something, yeah, something is having to end, but with the final outcome here, Cancer, um, I feel like this person is realizing that they're running out of time here, Cancer, with the Nine of uh, Pentacles in the reverse, and they're going to be coming in, rushing in, wanting to communicate with Cancer, saying, Cancer, please don't leave me. Um... 
with the knight of swords again this is an energy of someone rushing in wanting to what three of pentacles work with someone why because of the star they have hope in healing things with you cancer once again healing 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 all day long that is what this is all about it is about healing guilt and deeply look deeply within to discover your soul per purpose and in your relationships so beautiful beautiful energy cancer um we are definitely going to take things into and extend it here um out underneath that deck look at chariot energy look at you driving forward here and with the truth under your belt as well with that ace of swords and the sun baby oh my god this is very beautiful for you cancer because that honesty is starting to kick in you know everything you've been nervous about in the past it's kicking in cancer and your person is coming around this time and and it, let's take it into the extended to see how things are going to go, how long it's going to take them, how, you know, how long your thing's going to last, what is going to happen here. All right. So come back and check out the link in the description box below for the um, extended. And I will see you guys there. And then after viewing the extended, you guys, please come back over to my channel here at YouTube channel youtube channel here on my youtube channel at queen cancer tarot that's all you need to put into the search is queen cancer tarot and go for the big pink lips the watermark in the bottom right hand corner of the screen or click on subscribe button um and you will be subscribed to this channel I do lots of free readings and giveaways every single month on the the, the first of the month I will announce winners all right so mercury is still in that shadow retrograde so things are pretty wonky with me right now but let's go ahead and clarify here guilt and that card just kind of fell out Oh, wow. Queen of Pentacles. So either the, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Who's moving very slowly, um, but they're committed. Like they're moving slow as molasses, but they are committed. Queen of Pentacles, someone very nurturing, someone very giving and sensitive as well. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles is not letting anyone guilt them into anything. Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and Justice. Oh my God, that is definitely not somebody, you know, forcing anything on them. This person acts on their own. Look at the Seven of Swords very lone spirit here but this person works hard to achieve what they want they want long-term success and they're coming from a place of integrity tell us about deeply here please spirit, Holy spirit. the hierophant cancer i'm gonna end this message right now on this note we are going to definitely take things into the extended and, and the truth almost came out again cancer so this person wants to let you know how much they honestly deeply really do love and respect you they want your hand in marriage cancer judgment here this person has evaluated their feelings they know what they want and they are literally coming in like a bat out of hell for you cancer but with this eight of swords and justice here um in the high priestess like you don't see this coming when it comes in you're not gonna know but this person is gonna come in rather quickly 
and probably wanting to get married, settle down, wanting to work with you as a family unit. This person has a lot of hope for the future. All right, Cancers, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here for this um, extended message it was. I appreciate you all so much. I love you. Thank you all for viewing and come back for the next message. And we are going to be looking at Cancers and those who are dealing with Virgos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the extended. Bye.